This past week has been a crazy week in the world of video games. You could definitely tell that we are getting into E3 season because there are huge announcements, one after another, just huge games, consoles, everything has been happening this past week in the world of video games. But one game announcement has been flying under the radar that not a lot of people are talking about, but I could kind of see why. When something like Pokemon is announced for the Nintendo Switch, the world is going to take notice. And when they say, hey, there's five Pokemon games for the Nintendo Switch coming out between now and 2019, the world is really going to take notice. When Bethesda comes along and says, hey, we've got a new Fallout game, Fallout 76, and we're changing a lot of things, everyone is going to be buzzing about that. And of course, the Atari VCS, something that everyone thought was completely going to flop, is actually doing pretty well on its Indiegogo campaign, yet we still know nothing about it. So it's been a very strange week, a very big week, and definitely E3 season is in full effect. But like I said, one game has been flying under the radar that was leaked and then confirmed by Sega and Sumo Digital. And it's a game that I'm actually looking forward to. It's a game that I think is going to be a surprise hit this holiday season and a game that I want you guys to be hyped about as well. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel because in this video we're going to talk about Team Sonic Racing, Sonic's return to the racing genre. We're going to talk about the details of the league, we're going to talk about what the game entails, what I hope is in the game, and much more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's talk about Team Sonic Racing and why I'm hyped for it. Hey, RGT 85. Hey, Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. So this game leak once again comes to us from Walmart. You may remember that Walmart of Canada put up a bunch of games on their website and literally ruined a lot of people's E3 experiences, including Bethesda's, because they listed Rage 2 as a game that was coming out on platforms and nobody had even thought of Rage 2. And then Bethesda got mad and ended up announcing it and revealing a trailer for the game and of course some teaser stuff. So a lot of things have been coming from Walmart this E3 season. Now while that one came from Walmart to Canada, this one comes from Walmart.com based in the States, and this is for Team Sonic Racing, and this is a new Sonic Racing game. Now, we have heard rumors that a Sonic Racing game was going to be coming. Obviously, Sega had even teased that a new Sonic Racing game was coming, so a lot of people were looking forward to it, and honestly, I've always enjoyed the Sonic Racing games, even all the way back to Sonic R. You guys know I have a weird obsession with that game, but the kart racing Sonic games have always been pretty fun. They've never really been the same standard of quality as the Mario. Mario Kart games, but I think they've sort of been overshadowed in terms of that. I thought that they've always been fun alternatives and really solid racing games in their own. And Team Sonic Racing really sounds like it's going to be a really good game. So I kind of want to go over the details about it, what I hope is in the game, and then see if you guys will maybe be as excited as I am for this game. So from the Walmart listing, we have the following information. Team Sonic Racing combines the best elements of arcade and fast-paced competitive racing as you face off with your friends in intense multiplayer racing, race together, and work together as a team by sharing power-ups and speed boost. Take control of your racing style, choose from three distinct character types, and unlock game-changing vehicle customization options to suit your racing needs, speed up, gear up, team racing at sonic speed. So that's pretty interesting. I don't think there's been a game where you've actually shared uh, power-ups and speed boosts like that. Obviously, Mario Kart Double Dash sort of had a mechanic like that, but you were both on the same cart, whereas this is you just literally have teammates on the road, almost sort of like a NASCAR thing. So I think that's pretty interesting. It'll be very interesting to see how that works as far as winning races is concerned. Obviously, you'll want your teammates to do well along with you. You all want to win the race. So it'll be interesting to see how that sort of mechanic works in the game, but I think it's an interesting change. I think it'll be something that'll keep the car racing genre fresh. The game will feature online multiplayer and local co-op modes, 12 players per race, 4 player split screen, and various offline and online race modes including Grand Prix mode, Exhibition, Time Trial, and Team Adventure mode. Like I said, the game does focus on team racing, race as a team, win as a team, use various team moves to assist your teammates, knock out opponents, and unleash your ultimate. Performance and skin customization, alter your appearance and handling of your vehicle. Wisps, 
14 spectacular offensive and defensive items to help overcome rival teams and get ahead. Adventure Mode, unique story experience where players are introduced to the basic game features and characters. Various characters and classes, 15 playable characters from across the Sonic universe, and three distinct character types including speed, technique, and power classes. So all of this once again sounds very good. It sounds like the game is going to have a lot of content in it. It's going to have a lot of meat to the potatoes if you would say. Uh, definitely looking forward forward to the online racing definitely looking forward to the adventure mode because i think that could be pretty interesting to see how they sort of meld a weird sonic story into this racing game now as far as things i am curious about i'm definitely curious about the character roster because we've seen in a lot of sonic racing game there's been you know characters from outside of the sonic universe as well it's more of been an encompassing of all things sega now it says that there are 15 playable characters from across the sonic universe so it does look like they are potentially streamlining this a bit more and just just using Sonic characters. I do expect there to be some Sega unlockable characters in the game as well though. Definitely characters from other Sega games and that's something I'm honestly hoping for as well because I think that would make the game really really cool. Uh, as far as the team racing, like I said, it's definitely something we'll have to see in action and possibly even feel it in action because I don't think there's ever been anything like this. I do like the fact that there's 12 player online race modes though, much like in Mario Kart. Obviously this game is going to be available on the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, the Xbox One, and Steam this holiday season so it'll be a great way to play a racing game with some of your friends obviously sonic racing games are a lot like mario kart you know they definitely have a pick up and play aesthetic to them but there is definitely a level of skill involved there's definitely a level of professionalism that you can acquire within the game but what's really curious about this game is the price point we've seen sega go with lower price points on games as of late games like sonic forces which which was only a 40 dollar game and it looks like team sonic racing is also only going to be a $40 game. So a $40 kart racer with 12 player online. Uh, that's pretty cool on paper, honestly. As long as the game looks and plays good, it seems like this game is going to offer you a lot of value for your buck. You have an adventure mode, you have exhibition, you have time trials, you have online multiplayer. As long as there's some things like unlockables in the game, I think the game could be really cool, honestly. I like the visual style of the game. It definitely looks a lot like the Transform game that was on the Wii U. I really enjoyed that game, though. It was definitely a very fun kart racing game, but I'm cool with the visual style of the game. It's definitely just sort of in line with what we've seen from different Sonic racing games. But I like this move by Sega. I like this decision to bring back a Sonic racing game because people like racing games. People like kart racing games. And to have a new kart racing game coming out at the end of the year across all platforms was a really smart decision in my opinion. You know, a lot of people have played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to death and they're looking for the next thing. A lot of PS4 and Xbox One owners are looking for a fun kart racing game because of the simplistic arcade nature of a lot of these games that pretty much anyone can enjoy. So for Sega to be coming out with a new game in the Sonic Racing franchise is actually pretty smart. Putting it at $40 when you have a lot of content in it is pretty smart as well. The main thing I want to see though, definitely show me some characters from the Sega universe. You have so many damn characters. I want to see Knights in there. I want to see Ryo from Shinmu in there. Like throw in some cool characters, throw in some cool tracks, and definitely some Sega themed tracks as well. And potentially you could have a great racing game that sells well and makes everyone happy and isn't that what it's all about at the end of the day so walmart what's up with these leaks baby you guys are you guys are like the titanic you're just leaking all over the place putting out big games stuff that we're supposed to see at e3 you know you've ruined rage 2 you've now ruined team sonic racing are you gonna ruin anything else before e3 we only have like two weeks to go but i feel like if anyone could ruin it it would be you, Walmart. It would be you. You're going to come along and ruin at least one more game, some big game, and then everyone's going to be like, wow, do I even need to watch E3? But no, on a serious note, I'm very excited for this game. I'm very hyped for this game. I like what I see. I like what I hear from it. And I think it's going to be a fun kart racing game, which at the end of the day is what matters in a kart racing game is fun. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of Team Sonic Racing, if what you thought when you first heard it was announced, and what you think now that you've heard all the details about the game 
game, what the game is going to entail, and what you want to see in the game as well. And thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm doing all sorts of videos. There's going to be a lot of E3 stuff going on very, very soon. A lot of fun stuff to look forward to. I, of course, do RGT News every Wednesday and Friday morning. So there will be an episode of RGT News Friday morning, depending on when you're watching this video. And if you really enjoyed this video, check out all the links in the description box down below. We got Patreon, T-shirts, social media. Don't forget, we are still doing the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. There's a few more days left in that. So look for that pinned comment in the comment section down below on how to enter. Very easy. It's like one step. You click a button and then you're entered in the contest. You might as well enter it. We're giving away some very cool items, including the GCHD Eon adapter, which allows you to play your GameCube on your HD television. Looks absolutely fantastic. I already did a video on it. I'm rambling too much. I might go play some Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed on the Wii U just because I kind of have the itch for a Sonic Racing game. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later. Take it.